If you're new to scanning or a seasoned user, welcome to our very first video in our Scanner University series, where we're gonna turn you into a certified scan nerd, just like me. How you doing? If you've never been to this channel before, my name is Phil Lichtenberger, and I have been scanning for nearly four decades. And I wanna take that knowledge that I've earned over all these years and transfer it over to you. And we're gonna do that in this video series with a bunch of small, bite-sized videos that won't leave your head spinning. And if you are new to the hobby, I feel really bad for you. No joking aside, this hobby is a lot more complicated than it was just several years ago. There's a lot more that you need to know just to get started. And I'm here to help you make sense out of all of that. So make sure you're subscribed and you ring the bell so you know when upcoming videos are available. And again, if you catch us in the future, the playlist will have all of the videos that you need. Links to everything are right in the description below. So let's get started on this video and turn you into a scanner expert. Let's start at the very, very top. What is a scanner radio? A scanner radio is a device that can scan a large footprint of frequencies quickly, and that is the key. The radio will scan through frequencies, whether you've programmed them in or are searching for them in a pre-programmed bank, and will stop and allow you to monitor on any transmission that is active. Once that transmission is over, the scanner will resume scanning or searching and find the next active frequency. And of course, you can stop the scanner on that frequency and listen to the entire transmission if that's what you wish. Scanner radios can be handheld, they can be desktop, and they can also be taken mobile. Scanners can also be very simple to program and use, and others can be a little bit of a headache. <laughs> they can be difficult to set up. But again, we're not there yet. We'll make those difficult scanners easy to use. And some radios too are very basic. They're very simple. No bells, no whistles. They'll just show you the frequency that's in use. Very simple and plain Jane. But other high-end radios, they allow you to change the color of the screen. You can add text to the frequency, the bank, the group. And yeah, you can even tell what radio is transmitting at that time also on some of these more advanced radios. And most importantly, a scanner radio does not transmit, it is receive only. However, there are two-way radios, transceivers, ham radios, and other types of radios that do scan, but they are not classified as scanners. So let's talk about what you can hear on a scanner radio. Now, most scanners will scan from say about 25 megahertz up to a gig. And if you don't understand what a megahertz and a gigahertz is, don't worry, there's another video coming in this playlist that'll explain all of that. And even if you want to, how to do the math. And in that range, we've got several different things that we can listen to. We've got police, we can listen to fire, we can listen to EMS, we can listen to CB, aviation, railroads, amateur radio, businesses, GMRS, even weather alerts. And the list goes on and on. Now, depending on where you live, a scanner may or may not be illegal. Here in North America, in the United States, in Canada, it is not illegal to own or possess a scanner. But there are certain things you can and cannot do while in possession of a scanner, such as committing a crime. But other governments and other countries may make it illegal for you to own a scanner or to listen to certain transmissions that are not for you to listen to. So always be sure that you check your country's you know, laws and figure out if it is safe and legal for you to own a scanner. But the list of countries that outlaw scanning is slim compared to all the countries that do allow it. So again, most countries, go ahead, make that purchase. And also what can change based on where you live are the systems that are in use with the activity you wanna hear, such as where are the police, where are the fire, where's the EMS, where are the other government agencies? right? What system are they on? What technology are they using? It used to be you couldn't take your cell phone from provider A and put it on provider B, right? That's the same thing we're talking about here. So some scanners will, will receive police fire EMS just fine. But if they're on a, say, a trunk system, a P25, or God forbid, if they're encrypted, eh, right? That's going to dictate what your scanner can monitor. And again, we're going to talk about all of this on upcoming videos dedicated to just these topics alone. And of course, if your county went encrypted, hey, there's other things you can listen to, right? Don't just say my police, my fire, the EMS in my district or my county, they went encrypted. Listen, 
The local police, to me, they encrypted about a decade ago. But here I am talking about scanner radios, wearing a shirt that says, hey, I'm a certified scanner, right? That hasn't slowed me down. I'm not listening to my local police anymore, but there's plenty of other things out there to listen to. And of course, I'm excited to show you how to find those things. So who out there uses a scanner radio? Now I'm not asking for a show of hands, but if you want to show hands, go ahead and leave me a like on this video. That's a great way of letting me know that you are into the scanner radio hobby. But in all seriousness, local governments will use scanning to monitor things that are happening around them, such as an OEM or an Office of Emergency Management. Figure if a big storm rolls through or there's a natural disaster, right? They want to be able to hear what's going on outside of their four walls. Yes, they might have a rack of dedicated radios that listen to specific things, but there might be things that are not dedicated or programmed in those radios that they want to listen to. And that's where they use a scanner to kind of fill in the holes. The same is true for emergency services, such as police or fire, right? A fire district or a dispatcher in a fire department might listen to the neighboring fire districts to hear if they're going to need mutual aid. And this way they can kind of, you know, let the cat out of the bag early, so to speak, and notify their people like, hey, you know, you may want to put your boots on. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> that happens more frequently than you think. And even uh, news agencies, right, they'll listen to a scanner to find out where the stories are and where they need to go out and roll out news crews. And even stringers do the same thing, right? They'll run out with their cameras and their video cameras and they'll find out where the, where the accidents, like these be called ambulance chasers, right? But they would go out, where, where are the fires, where are the ambulances, where is there something that is newsworthy, breaking on the scanner that I need to go and write a article or document in video or photo. But you and I, right? The hobby users, we are the majority. That's right. We own the show here, basically. We're the ones that are out there buying most of the scanners and using them, actually learning how they work. And why are we the majority? Because we love to listen to know what's around us. We like having situational awareness. We like being prepared. We like to know what's going on. Sometimes we just use it to pass the time, right? I mean, Sometimes we leave a radio on in the car to listen to what we're listening to, right? <clears throat> Music, not a scanner radio. But sometimes you want to listen while you're home. And, and it's just sometimes it's background noise. Sometimes it's knowing what the fire department is doing on your street and the police and stuff like that. But again, a lot of times it's just to know what's going on. Are we being nosy? Are we just listening? Maybe a little bit of both. But again, there's also some of us, like myself, who enjoy finding new frequencies to listen to. We say here on the podcast that the secrets are in the searches. I've said that over and over again, and that is exactly what we can do with the scanner radio. Take it out of the scan mode and put it into a search mode and find out, hey, where is my kid's school? Where are they transmitting? What about the drive through that I'm in? Hey, I'm walking through the uh, brick and mortar, you know, Wally Worlds or the, you know, the other companies that are out there that sell clothes and and whatnot, right? They all carry little two-way radios. And again, where are they? What are they listening to? Where are all these other you radio users that are out there that we can listen to? And that is part of what makes the hobby enjoyable as, as well. It's kind of like playing hide and go seek. Find out what's in there with your radio can really bring some excitement into the hobby. I'd like to take a quick break here to thank my Patreon supporters. Our Patreon supporters is what makes these videos possible. By becoming a Patreon supporter, you can get different benefits based on your support tier, such as getting these videos and these podcast episodes released early and even discount codes for sweet merch like this. Again, if you want to help support us, go to scannerschool.com slash Patreon. Scanning can also make other hobbies enjoyable as well. Think about aviation, right? If you're somebody who likes to sit outside of an airport and take photos of planes as they come in, or just watch the different planes, or just, you know, you're, you're into that, right? Pilots or, or whatever. People just like to listen to aviation. And if that's what you love doing, tack on a scanner radio and know what is going on right over your head. There are plenty of people too that like to go rail fanning or train spotting, right? And again, they will know when a particular train is coming or there's an issue. And again, just sitting there waiting for the train to come, hey, that's all fine. But actually knowing where it is and knowing when it's coming and knowing if it's delayed or if there's a problem on the track or something like that, you can do that when you have a scanner radio with you 
when you are waiting for that train to come. Let's go to something a little bit more exciting. Air shows. That's right. You can listen to the pilots coordinating maneuvers and coming into the air show and talking to the air boss all from your scanner radio. Now, these transmissions are very short, but there's a lot of great, great audio and stuff that you can listen to when you have your scanner radio present at some of these air shows. And finally, what's one of the biggest shows here in North America? NASCAR. Hey, to each their own, I'm not a big NASCAR fan, but if you're a NASCAR fan and you love to bring your scanner radio, I would love to hear from you. So make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what you do and how you set up your radio for when you visit a NASCAR event. And again, you don't have to just go to NASCAR. Your, your local dirt track or your local you know, race course, wherever else that, that races on Saturday nights, yeah, guess what? They also all use radios to communicate to spotters or to pit row or anything else like that, right? Bring your radio when you sit in the, in the stands and you can listen to the activity on the track while you're watching it if you bring a radio along with you. So what do you need to get started? Hey, I'm hoping that if you are now just getting started in the scanner radio hobby and haven't yet picked up your first radio, I hope you're as excited to do so as I am to teach you all about the hobby. But you don't need to buy anything right now to get started. There's apps right on your cell phone that can help you get into the hobby. And it's just as easy as downloading an, uh, an app, and I typically like to use Scanner Radio by Gordon Edwards, or if you're into aviation, look at the Live ATC app. Both are great apps that you can put on your tablet or your Android or your Apple device and allow you to tap into other people's radios and listen to the local activity that they are rebroadcasting to the internet. Now again, these are free apps and there are paid versions to upgrade to get rid of ads, but just to get started, these are a great choice. Now, if you're looking for a desktop version or something you can monitor, say, on any old computer, take a look at Broadcastify. And again, a lot of these uh, live feeds that are in these apps are built and based on Broadcastify as a back end. And also look at Open Megahertz. Again, we have links to all those down in the description of this video. And again, both allow you to stream other people's scanners right onto your computer. If you have a scanner radio and you want to get started, hey, you're already ahead of the game. We're going to talk about all about the radio hardware on another video in this playlist. So how much does it take to get started if you want to go out and buy your own equipment? Well, a typical scanner radio, depending again on the bells and whistles and the features and the technologies that it can monitor, can range anywhere from about $100 to $600 or more. And yes, that is a very, very wide range of, of how much it's going to cost. So that's 100 to 600 US. The amount will change a little bit based on your local currency if you're watching outside of the United States. Just because an entry level scanner at about 100 bucks is a great foot in the door, don't be disappointed if it doesn't allow you to listen to your local police or fire. These things happen. And again, this is why we're here right now to educate you to try and get you started in the hobby and eventually learning what radio to buy. But again, even if you bought the $100 radio and it doesn't monitor your local police department, there's other things that you can monitor with those radios. So it's still not a waste. But again, you always want to make sure that you've got a hammer when you need a hammer and a screwdriver when you need a screwdriver. And we're going to explain everything you need to know to get the right scanner for your area coming up. So again, Make sure you subscribe. All right, you're ready to buy your scanner. Where do you go to buy one? Well, you actually can go to a brick and mortar store. If you get in your time machine and go back a couple of years, Radio Shack was the king of selling scanner radios. And again, the, the radios that were quality and they did all the stuff that you needed to to monitor your local radio. And the guy behind the counter was semi-knowledgeable on how to program radios for your area. No offense to anybody who worked at Radio Shack again, right? I mean, the barometer on who would help you would be, you know, some guy that knew how to change batteries to a guy that can program a Tandy computer and was an absolute whiz. But again, that Radio Shack ship has most likely sailed at this point. But if you go to, say, Walmart, you can walk in and buy an entry-level scanner there. So again, if you want to go do the old, you know, touch, feel, physically grab it, check out with it, yes, you can find them 
in a local store. However, the majority of scanner radios are sold online, and there's a plethora of places you can go and buy them, such as Bearcat Warehouse, Zip Scanner, Gigaparts, HRO, a ham radio outlet. Again, all great places to go ahead and buy a scanner radio. However, these two are where I buy my scanners from and where I would recommend buying them. So I do recommend Amazon, typically because they've got a really, really excellent, almost an old questions asked return policy. However, if you want somebody on the phone and you need a little bit of help getting a scanner radio, you want somebody to program it for you, and you're looking for somebody who's really knowledgeable about the scanner they're about to sell you, Scanner Master is the go-to place for this. I have been purchasing from Scanner Master for as long as I can remember, and they are a great place to buy from. You can find an affiliate for Scanner Master and Amazon down in the description below this video. And again, if you use those, yes, they're affiliates, but they will certainly help our channel out. And it's a great way to say thank you for producing this video. Again, we'll earn a commission off the sale, but it doesn't cost you anything. And if you're looking for a used scanner, again, eBay is a great marketplace for that. And again, we have an affiliate link down in the description for eBay. All right, you're ready. You're taking the plunge, but you still got some more questions. Where do you get help for, you know, all these questions that you might happen to have? A great online resource for this is Radio Reference. One of the biggest, if not the biggest, scanner radio website in the world. And they've got topics for everything, a, a wiki page. And again, it's just, it's the Mecca. It is, it is the place to go for scanner radio content. But if you're looking for something a little bit different, we have our own chat-based group over on Facebook and also a Discord server where there's plenty of people out there who are talking about the hobby right now and who are also willing to lend you a hand. And of course, this channel right here is here to help you learn all about the hobby. So make sure you hit subscribe again so you know when the next helpful video is about to be released. We also have a podcast that you can listen to on any podcast platform that you happen to choose. And I'm also here to help you directly. If you really want that one-on-one, -on -one, that face-to-face -face interaction with somebody, uh, to help you through programming or to just make the right purchase, share your screen, share my screen, et cetera, we can do that. I'm available for tutoring to help you one-on-one -on -one with the scanner radio hobby. For that, go to scannerschool.com slash tutoring. And of course, there is a link down below this video that will help you out. This is just the first video in a playlist that is going to help you graduate from Scanner Radio University. And we have a playlist over on the side right now where you can watch the next video or jump to any video in the Scanner Radio University playlist. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you ring the bell. And again, don't forget to check out the next video in this series where we'll help you get started in the Scanner Radio hobby.